Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to install YOLO v5 on our Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as I mentioned we are going to install YOLO v5 on our Raspbian OS Bullseye for that first you need to install OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. I have already created a video how to install OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. I will mention the video link, watch video and install OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. Then for YOLO v5 we need here a PyTorch and Torque Vision. So I have created here a repository and the repository name is YOLO v5 Raspberry Pi 4 and inside that I have mentioned the bash script. This script install PyTorch and Torque Vision automatic on our Raspberry OS Bullseye. Okay, so I will mention the link of the repository inside my description box. You need to simply copy and paste the link inside the browser then go to the code copy the link from here copy it and open terminal and we are going to simply clone the repository so command is what sudo space git clone and paste the link of repository and just hit enter it will clone our repository now we have our repository yellow v5 raspberry pi 4 cd yolo v5 raspberry pi 4 this is what our repository and we need to go inside the repository for that run the command cd space and mention the repository name or you can simply press uh, you can simply enter YOLO and just press tab it will auto complete our repository name that's it so now we have inside our repository ls command and as you can see this is what our bash script so we need to give the full permission so sudo sudo ch mode ch mode space 775 and our repository oh, sorry not repository our script name which is install.sh okay if i run the ls command as you can see the file is now green it means we have successfully changed the permission okay so i have already installed opencv now we are ready we are going to simply run our script so sudo space dot slash install dot sh and just hit enter it will install the pytorch and talk region on our raspbian os bullseye okay so I have already installed PyTorch and Torque Vision. Okay, that's why it says the requirement is already satisfied. Okay. So as you can see, it's basically downloading the package. Okay, the Torque is already installed. So we have now our Torque already installed. As you can see, the message and now talk vision is downloading 0.9 version and talk vision is already installed okay so we have successfully installed all the dependencies for our yolo v5 now simply we are ready and we are going to first clear the screen okay and just come out from our repository so run the cd command that's it and what we want to do we want to simply run the command sudo pip3 install yolo v5 and it will automatic install yolo v5 on our raspbian os bullseye so sudo pip3 install yolo v5 and just hit enter okay it will install yolo v5 we have already installed all the dependencies okay as you can see so i have already installed the yolo v5 and it's perfectly work okay friends on raspbian os bullseye so this is how you need to first install the yolo v5 you need to first install opencv then you need to run our bash script for installing pytorch and talk vision then run the command sudo space pip3 space install yolo v5 okay let me show you this is what the command okay and just hit enter it will install yolo v5 on our raspbian os bullseye that's it so friends we have successfully installed the yolo v5 now before we start our yolo v5 for object detection we need to make some changes inside our detect.py file okay so let me first clear the screen and then we need to run the command like this way before we make some changes we need to first change the owner permission for our yolo v5 okay so run the command like this way sudo space ch own space hyphen capital r space pi is the user colon 
pi is the group like this way pseudo space ch own space hyphen capital r space pi colon pi then we need to mention the folder path where we have our yolo v5 folder okay so the path is like this way slash usr then local then lib okay then python as you can see then python 3.9 so mention the python 3.9 okay then dist packages just press tab button dist packages let me make full screen okay so dist packages okay then inside that we have our yolo v5 okay yolo yolo v5 as you can see this is what our path for yolo v5 folder and just hit enter now we have successfully changed the owner of our yolo v5 folder okay so this is the command sudo space ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user colon pi is the group space slash usr local lib python 3.9 disk packages and inside that we have our yolo v5 and just hit enter it will change the owner then we can mention our own changes inside detect.py file okay so first you need to simply change the owner that's it now we are going to open our tony python id programming tony python id okay and then i have already opened detect.py as you can see let me close go to the file again click on open and the same path okay same path so go to the other locations computer then we need to go usr then we need to go local then we need to go lib python 3.9 disk packages and here we are going to search for yolo v5 so yolo v5 is our folder as you can see yolo v5 and inside that we have our detect.py select it it will open the detect.py from our thony python already that's it just scroll down and basically what we are going to change here we are going to change the source for uh, source folder basically source folder and the project folder source folder is basically folder for saving our images the images which we can use for object detection okay and the projects is basically saving the images which is our result which is our result okay simply so what i am going to do i am going to open file manager and here we are going to create our new folder so let's say new folder and freedom take click on ok so we have create a new folder inside slash home slash pi and folder name is freedom tick so we need to mention that folder name inside our detect.py so this is what our source here i need to mention the path of the folder so let's say slash home slash pi and our folder name which is freedom tick freedom tick okay so just save the code okay so because we change the owner there is no permission error we successfully mentioned the changes okay so now scroll down and now we want to change the project folder for saving the objects okay so saving basically object detection result okay so here again i am going to open the folder slash home slash pi and for saving the result image i am going to create here a new folder and let's say yolo yolo result yolo result okay this is what our folder inside slash home slash pi so we need to mention that folder path over here project and here we are going to mention the folder path slash home slash pi and yolo result this is what our folder name slash home slash pi let me check yolo result okay slash home slash pi yolo result and here slash home slash pi freedom tech that's it just save the code that's it just close the tony python id and now what we are going to do i'm going to open file manager again and i have here some images as you can see this is what the images which i am going to save inside our freedom tech folder okay so friends as you can see i have saved the images inside slash home slash pi freedom tech folder that's it so this is how you need to make some changes inside the detect.py file now we are ready we are going to simply open our terminal let me clear the screen and now we need to run the command so let's say sudo let me show you first one more thing here 
okay this is what our uh, images folder and our result folder is yolo result and right now there is nothing okay so i'm going to open terminal and here we need to run the command like this way sudo space yolo v5 space detect sudo space yolo v5 detect that's it just hit enter it will automatically detect the objects for images from our slash home slash pi freedom tech folder and it will automatic save the result inside our slash home slash pi yolo v5 okay so as you can see as you can see image 13 slash home slash pi freedom tech it's detecting the first image now it's detecting second image now it's detecting the third image and it's save result save to slash home slash pi yolo result and inside that it will create the exp folder okay so yolo result and as you can see we have now exp folder and inside that if i open as you can see this is what the result image is okay another image as you can see yolo v5 is detecting the objects with the help of open cv on raspbian bullseye 64 bit version as you can see traffic lights all these things okay third image person bicycle car person person traffic so it's perfect work okay so this is how you need to mention the path for uh, saving the images saving the result images and object detecting the object images okay simple now how to use the camera simply clear the screen and run the command like this way sudo yolo v5 space hyphen hyphen source then zero okay so here i forget to mention detect detect is always there okay so sudo space yolo v5 space detect space hyphen hyphen source space the zero is basically index number of our camera so i have here only one camera which is our usb camera okay so sudo space yolo v5 space detect space hyphen hyphen source and the zero just hit enter and as you can see friends it's detecting the live frame okay the person okay so this is how friends simply you can use the yolo v5 for object detection with the help of images and the usb camera okay so if i press ctrl c it will cancel the web camera live frame okay so i hope you learn something from this video and you also use the yolo v5 for object detection purpose okay we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye